on the allotment plot and my name's Graham and this is Where Graham Grows, my wonderful allotment plot in the beautiful Warwickshire countryside in the UK. And why don't you hit subscribe to follow along with my journey as I grow fruit and vegetables for health and for happiness. It's over 150 videos that I've uploaded to YouTube since taking over my allotment plot just under two years ago. Once you finish watching this video, check some of them out because it's amazing how far we've come together. And in today's video, I'm going to kind of turn my attention away from outside of the allotment plot area because I've kind of feel like I've done as much as I can do now for autumn and winter. I've put my green manure down. I've put cardboard over my raised beds and I'm going to keep adding cardboard as I get to it, ready to put manure on either later this year or early next year. And I'm just going to keep one eye on my cabbages that I've got under cover outside here. I've got some red ball cabbages here and I've got some white ball cabbages there. So let's get ourselves in the greenhouse where I've made quite a few changes ready for autumn and winter. Come on, let's go. All right, so this is my greenhouse and it's a eight by 10 foot greenhouse. I think and this is the first time that I've had opportunity to grow anything throughout the autumn and winter months inside a greenhouse and one of the first biggest changes I've made I've taken out my table that was going along here to create more sort of growing space the table was good but I felt so restricted inside the greenhouse and I like to have space and air around me and looking at what I've done here I do definitely think I've got that check it out self opening windows when the Sun comes out which is great keeps fresh air in the greenhouse but take a look at what I've done now check it out <laughs> it looks absolutely the important things was to try and create space and air and that sense of being able to walk around my greenhouse without any clutter keep it minimalist and just keep it simple so I can look at all these beautiful autumn and winter plants and monitor them as I grow so let's get Without further ado, let me take you down, show you what I got growing. Three sprout plants inside here, and I've put them in these sacks, which is something new. I've not grown in these sacks before. I've had them for a year or two now, and I popped these sprout plants in, and they look so healthy since putting them in here. They've been in here about three or four weeks, I guess. Take it right in to look at how healthy this plant looks it's nice it's really warm as well bit of compost bit of manure just bit of soil from one of the beds in my allotment plot and this plant particularly this one looks absolutely beautiful and before i go any further everything that i'm showing you today has been grown from seed in a tray by a company called Weldales and it's funny really Weldales because I found them online about sort of April May time this year I've ordered so much stuff from them and every single thing that I've ordered has germinated so well and grown you know what it's like when you find a company and you just order stuff from them and you just trust them that's where I've kind of got with Weldales. Everything that I order now for the allotment is going to be from Weldales. And when you order a packet of seeds, you get like a little label for free. You get free postage and you get a free packet of seeds. And I've also got a subscriber code. I'll put it in the description below. Save yourself 20% off any seeds that you order. Happy days. Let's crack on with the video anyway, because I've got loads of beautiful plants to show you here. Look at this red ball cabbage. Look how healthy this plant looks. Everything is looking so healthy in this greenhouse. I don't have like loads of cabbages and loads of sprout plants, but I just want to 
Just want to have something to grow and something to watch and something to nurture over the winter months. And I've just found that sort of less is more with this. I've never grown over autumn and winter. Let me show you my white ball cabbage that I've got in here. Take a look at this white ball cabbage. Again, just looks so nice. Look at this kale plant. Something's going on there. Seems to have dried out on that leaf, but look at the texture of that. Wasp in here. Here we go, we've got curly kale. Again, all of these have come from Weldale's seeds, and this is known as black magic. You may recall my Caribbean Kalalu. I took it out of the ground outside because it was looking like we were getting a frost. It was all droopy and it drooped over. And look at it now. See, inside there, look. See that flower? It's coming through there. I'll be really interested to see how big that grows and how tall this plant actually gets. Just step back and show you how the greenhouse is looking now that you know what I've got growing in there. And look at how minimalist it is but how wonderful it looks to come in and just have a walk round. One thing I didn't show you, I've got this plastic tray here, plastic tray, plastic crate, and I've planted some more turnips in here. And you probably saw in one of my other videos that I harvest my turnips and they were probably about golf ball size. These ones I'm gonna try and grow bigger to more sort of tennis ball size if I can, so let's keep an eye on those. But let me show you a little ingenious thing that I put in my greenhouse the other day. Come on. So I've got some planks of wood and I screwed this together along here to create one thin, long raised bed there. And if I show you over the other side of the greenhouse, I've created exactly the same thing the other side. The reason for this is because I thought I might try and grow some spring onions down each side of the greenhouse continually throughout the year. Now, I have read that you can grow spring onions indoors all year round. I'm not certain how fast they'll grow and even if they work for some reason, I don't know what it is with spring onions. They seem to be my kind of nemesis because they never really grow for me. They get so big and then they just stop. But what I thought I might do today is dab in some holes and whack some spring onions in the ground. So <laughs> should we do that? Come on. The trusty dabber. I haven't used it much recently, but it's really nice to spend a bit of time planting some stuff today because it feels like I haven't planted anything for ages. Mini Welsh onion seeds from Weldales, and I'm going to put them in this one area of my greenhouse so we can just keep an eye on them, just see what happens. So, without further ado, let's dig in, if you pardon the pun. Right, so as you can see here, I've dabbed in some holes and given them, I'm not sure, about four or five inches in between each one. The next step is for me to grab a little smidgen of seeds, maybe put about three or four in each one. Let's do that. show you what I'm doing I'm literally just taking the soil and just brushing it over the top like this just to cover these holes all the way to the end and there we go look at that there is some spring onions that I'm hoping in maybe eight or ten weeks time if I'm lucky I'm gonna have some spring onions ready to harvest in there who knows could put more onions in there but what I think I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna plant some lettuce in here. They're not a particular autumn or winter variety at all. In fact, they've, they say they're giant iceberg lettuce. But I'm, 
I feel like doing the dabbing of the holes and sprinkling a few in is kind of a good way to go. I mean, with the onions, they can bunch up and grow together, right? But I think I want to do a similar thing with the lettuce because if I dab the holes, bang a few in each one, then I'll just, if they work and if they come up, I can just thin them out so that I've got a long line of lettuce. <laughs> Who knows? It's quite exciting, this, isn't it? get these seeds out. It says there's a hundred here so I probably don't want to pour out loads. Let's get these sprinkled into those dabbed holes. I'm just covering over these dabbed holes and I've got about four or five seeds in each one and as they come up, if they come up, I'll just thin them out and keep the the strongest one. It's pretty much a job well done for today in the greenhouse. I've got my spring onions in the raised bed over there and I've got my lettuce that I've planted in my raised bed over there. We are now full in the greenhouse. I'm really trying to see if I can get some good sprouts, get some good kale and some good cabbages, onions and lettuce, but there's not loads of them growing. There's just a small amount just to see if it works or not over autumn and winter. I'd love to know in the comments below if anybody else is doing something similar. If you enjoyed the video and saw my greenhouse today, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.